What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Time on Outdoors. Today I'm just gonna show y'all a little video on how I tie my jigs, a little step-by-step -step process. So right now I have my, my 1 16th ounce jig head already in my vise. I'm using uh, 210 flat wax thread. I find that to be the best for me. I don't use any glues or cements or anything. I like to keep the chemical smell down on my jigs. I'm a big believer in scent. So you start by wrapping your thread and you go down the shank of that hook and you're gonna come all the way back up. Cut that excess off. And you go, go to make the tail. I use neck hackle. Cut your little feather off like that. And you wanna take your scissors and go in at an angle like that and cut, I call little V's off of these. Just like that. Take several of those. Sometimes some feathers need more than others. Some are thicker than, some feathers are thin. You know, so you just gotta figure out what's what, what works best for you. Just get you several of those little V cuts. Stack them up. And be left with something like this. Line them up, make sure they're all the same length. Make sure they're even. Sometimes when the, um, the part of the feather is a little too thick, I like to trim it off before I lay it down. Lay those flat down on that shank. Start wrapping. Same way you did earlier. Go down a little ways and go back up. <coughs> Excuse me. You got your feathers for your tail. And I add a little flash with some flashaboo. I'll take a single strand. I'll double it over like that. And I'll cut it in half. And I'll be left with two strands. And I'll take one of those strands, fold it over again. Go in front of that string. Oops, sorry about that. I got a squeaky bobbin. Lay that down just like the feathers. And down back. Cut that loose and there you go. You got four little strands. It's going to give some nice flash. Cause a nice reaction bite. And I'm using New Age. I'm using New Age Chanel for my body. This color is gunmetal. Leave that down on that shank. Get down and back with that. I notice how anytime I'm wrapping this Chanel with a thread, I'm always bringing it towards me. I found it better to always go towards me when I'm tying. Lay that Chanel down nice and flat, right beside each other, and don't leave any gaps or anything. The way it looks nice and smooth and complete. Trim your excess off. Like I said earlier, I don't use any glues, any head cements, anything like that. I just give it a double whip finish here at the end with my whip finisher tool. Go around about five or six times. Tighten it down. Gosh dang that bobbin. Do it a second time. Tighten it down. Cut your thread off. And there you have it. There's your jig. If y'all have any more questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to uh, make sure I get back to y'all. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. It helps us grow. It helps that algorithm know that you know this might be an inter interesting video to push to other viewers that might enjoy the same type of content. We'll see y'all next time.